Allison from Learning at the Primary Pond, and today I'm going to be talking about shared reading. Shared reading is an instructional strategy that can be used to teach decoding, fluency, um, concepts about print, comprehension, vocabulary, and it can be used at any grade level. Um, the reason it's called shared reading is because both you, the teacher, and the students can clearly see the words of the text. My favorite way to do shared reading with the primary grades is to use big books so the kids can um, clearly see the words and the pictures. Something else you can do is use text from sites like ReadWorks or Reading A to Z and put them up on an interactive whiteboard so that kids can see the words clearly. Um, something else you can do is to write poems on chart paper and display those. And then sometimes teachers will give students their own copies of the books for shared reading which is fine, but I prefer to, um, if, it's a, if it's just a copy of a book, I prefer to actually put it under the um, document camera and then have all the kids looking up at the screen together because I just feel like it's easier for me to know if the kids are paying attention because I can see where their eyes are. Um, and it's also easier for me to, you know, point things out in the text and um, keep kids focused on what we're learning about. You can use shared reading to teach just about any literacy concept. Um, at the beginning of kindergarten or in preschool, big books are a great way to teach kids concepts about print because you can, I mean, the kids can see how you put the book up there and how you turn the pages and how you um, point one to one as you read and track print left to right. And they can join in in helping you find, you know, where do I start reading? Where's the title? How do I turn the pages? Things like that. Something else you can use um, shared reading for is to teach decoding. Um, this is a great way to teach decoding whole class because you have the text up and so all the kids can clearly see the words. You can do some modeling and give the kids some guided practice with decoding. And something I like to do with a big book is to go through and put sticky notes on certain words. So I would leave like the first letter or the first two letters uncovered but then cover the rest with a sticky note. And so then as we're reading, we'll come across these mystery words and it's the kids' jobs, jobs to um, look at the picture, look at the first letter or two, and use that information to figure out what the word says. Something else that um, shared reading is great for is teaching fluency. Again, because kids can clearly see punctuation and the words um, because they're displayed. And what I like to do, and this always makes my kids laugh, is sometimes I will read, you know, a text like a robot and say, well, did that sound good? No, why not? And then have the kids help me choral read to um, correct my fluency, and then we'll talk about, you know, pausing at commas, pausing at periods, reading with expression, and things like that. And then beyond that, no matter what I'm teaching, whether it's concepts about print or decoding or fluency, we always um, focus on comprehension. That's the first thing we talk about during a shared read. So, like in kindergarten or toward the beginning of first grade, what I will do is have a big book that we read um, up to five times in a week. So the first day of the week is always comprehension. So we'll read all the way through the story and the focus is just comprehension and probably vocabulary too. And then the second day on Tuesday, I'll bring the same story back, but this time there'll be a, um, like a decoding lesson, like the sticky notes thing that I talked about. And we may not make it all the way through the book that day because we're kind of slowing it down. You know, the kids have already read it once for comprehension and um, we're just focusing on a couple of decoding teaching points. And then Wednesday and Thursday, I'll have a different teaching point like fluency or um, something else. And then on Friday, sometimes if kids are still interested in the book, I'll give them puppets or we will act out the story in some way um, to kind of wrap up the week. So toward later first grade and second grade, um, I don't really use big books. Instead, what I do is I will use, like I mentioned earlier, um, the reading A to Z text or ReadWorks and display that. And we we do some rereading sometimes, but usually what I'll do is I'll chunk the text. So, you know, we may read it all the way through the first day, but maybe not. We may read like a quarter of it or a half of it and because um, I'm slowing down the pace to teach them things. Again, like the decoding, fluency, focus on comprehension, um, things like that. So I have a tendency to kind of want to like get through an entire text every time we sit down to do it, but for shared reading with, you know, like end of first grade, second grade, that's just not realistic and you can't get through the entire text and focus on a teaching point with the kids. 
Something I get asked sometimes is how is shared reading different from a read aloud? So the main difference that I see is shared reading, um, during shared reading you will put up the text so that kids can clearly see the words and read them. In a read aloud you're showing kids the pictures and they might be able to see, you know, maybe one or two of the words that they're sitting up front, but the focus is more on just them listening and understanding the story and um, you talking about it for comprehension. So because you know, kids can see the words during shared reading, that's why you can focus more on decoding, fluency, things like that. Um, another main difference I see is that when I'm doing a read aloud, you know, I do stop and ask questions and we talk about the text, but with shared reading I feel there's more frequent pausing to talk about, again, things like fluency, decoding, comprehension, so I feel that um, in shared reading the pace is just a bit slower than a read aloud.